What it is, what it do, cyber world it is, your girl, the one and only Ash Said It, ashsaidit.com, ashsaidit.com. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. We appreciate you guys for all your love, all your support. Yes, we're on the heels of half a million streams worldwide. Would not be possible without you guys. All the comments, all the likes, all the shares makes a huge difference. Today, we are joined by life and style blogger, yes, Miss CEO of Sophistication.com, the wonderful Caitlin Patton. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing today? I am good. I'm trying to stay warm in Chicago right now. Oh, yeah. You guys are getting, yeah, you're getting those temps. Temps are dropping for you guys. <laughs> yeah, the lake's about to freeze over, and I'm not happy about my parking situation, but I've got a really cute scarf, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> awesome. All right, Kayla, so let everyone know, where are you from? Where do you represent? So I am originally from St. Louis, and I moved to Chicago after I graduated from college. And I've been here for about two years now, working in the PR industry and running blogging. Okay, cool, cool. So when you were a kid, what did you think you were going to be when you were an adult? Oh, my goodness. (laughs) The funny thing, looking back now, is that I used to think I would be a fashion designer. I would have those sketchbooks, and I would sit there, and I would, like, you know, of course, it was ugly, and my mom promised me to see the thing. And looking back now, it's just really cool to see when I did have that fashion for and it's funny to see how it came full circle now, but I never thought that I'd be, you know, like, using social media on the internet as a job. Yeah, no, it is incredible. It's absolutely an incredible, incredible time with social media, and where it's come, it's it's really mind-blowing. I never would have imagined when I was in school the stuff that is, that it would be today. No idea. No idea. I know, and it's crazy. I majored in public relations, and we would touch on social media. But, you know, every semester, this semester, it would be completely different coursework because social media changed quicker than, you know, mm-hmm. that's what that's supposed to keep up with. It's crazy. It is. So when did things begin with the blog? When did you start blogging? So I actually started in college. Um, so going back to I majored in public relations, and in the public relations program at Purdue, we had to have both a physical and online portfolio to be able to show off our work on campaigns. And I believe it was the summer after my junior year of college, I already had this website. I was bored one day and realized it was an option to add a blog tab. Mm. And I was like, okay, I can do this. So this <laughs> is something that like, you know, make me stand out. And then I dug around some more and realized I could buy my own domain and I could make this something of my own, and that is how, in July 2015, Sophistication was born. And mm-hmm. it's funny, if you backstalk my blogs far enough, you can see posts that were clearly written for my PR classes, like <laughs> how Snapchat will influence the 2016 election, and things like that, but I love them up because it's so funny to like take a walk down memory lane and see how it started out of necessity, but it's grown so much and evolved. Wow. That is incredible. As you were building the brand and experiencing so many new things, as it was a brand new world for all of us, really, what were some of the obstacles that you faced? I feel like in many ways, I was my biggest obstacle because even though I created my blog the summer before my senior year of college, I never shared it with anyone. Mm. And I kept it pretty um, hush-hush until January of the next year. Because I was so in my head about what people would think, if people would judge what I was doing, make fun of my writing, and I was terrified to face that, so I just chose not to. Mm. And I look back now, and I was like, wow, if I would have just been like, you know, let's do this, let's put it out there, because things would happen faster. But then, when I did share it eventually on all my social media accounts and let people into that into sphere of my life, mm-hmm. it was nothing compared to what I was so worried about. Yeah. And I feel like I feel like the thick skin that comes from that is, you know, it was way worse in my head than it was. And so once I got over that hump, I feel like that was a huge door opening for me. Mm. Awesome, awesome. All right, so we're going to take a brief break. And when we come back, we're going to talk more with Miss CEO herself, Kate. Caitlin, sophistication.com.
Wouldn't it be great if there was a place to discover awesome discounts on gently used clothes? There is. Swap.com, the world's largest online consignment and thrift store. Over 14 million tons of textiles are wasted each year. Shopping secondhand, Swap.com helps prevent textile waste from polluting the environment. With Swap.com, you can save up to 90% off retail price of your favorite brands like Lululemon, Carter's, Nike, J. Crew, and Gap. Between six to 10,000 new items are added daily. If something doesn't fit, enjoy hassle-free returns within 30 days, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Shop Swap.com and use the promo code ASHDAILY40 for your 40% off today. What's up? Welcome back, you guys, to the Ash Did It Daily podcast show. I'm your girl, Ash Run, and we're talking to Caitlin, yes, sophistication.com. And we're talking all about her business, her blog. I mean, this lady is just taking over. All right. The takeover is real here. All right. So, Caitlin, when did you realize that your brand was becoming a lot bigger than that idea that you had in college? So, I started working in the PR industry in Chicago after I graduated college in 2016. And it got to the point where I was having to use PTO days for my day job to be able to do blog projects. Wow. And that's when I really started to be like, okay, um, you know what, maybe we need to re- reevaluate things and start mapping financially what was going to go on with our blog. And basically I was only an entry-level PR position, so it wasn't as much income, but I would have had to you know, make up with the blog if I had stayed in the PR industry for a couple more years. Mm-hmm. And it just felt like I'm a very big believer in the universe sending messages. And for me, it seemingly all was telling me, you know what, this is your time. Everything's falling into place. And so this summer I was able to take my blog full time as well as work social media freelance jobs on the side to help kind of supplement the income and give me more of a, you know, day-to-day working group relationship structure. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on that. You know, not a lot of people are able to, you. you know, to do the blogging thing full time and to be able to supplement and to integrate social media into what you're doing. So I, I tip my hat to you on that. That is incredible. Thank you. So what can people look forward to with sophistication.com in 2018? So um, on top of me going to Nike Summit and the Fashion Week again in February and trying to bring back all the latest trends, something that's a passion project for both myself and my friend Caitlin is at the launch of our new brand called Pink Playbook, and it's something we're both really passionate about. Um, it's a women empowerment brand. We have really been passionate about women supporting other women and choosing to lift one another up instead of putting others down to succeed. Mm -hmm. Um, After going to New York Fashion Week together, we got to see some cattiness and firsthand it was just like, we were like, thank God I have you because you're like my hype girl and we're always Mm -hmm. there for each other. And as we furthered that conversation with friends in other industries like science and engineering, you name it, there are women working against one another instead of lifting one another up. And so we decided, hey, let's just bring a voice to this, offer career advice, offer a resource for women who are having trouble accepting themselves and becoming a resource where women can, you know, lift one another up and try to be a source of positivity. I believe in that wholeheartedly. We need more of that. We need to get that good positive vibe, good positive supporting one another energy. We got to get that contagious. We got to get that spreading around the world. We really do. There would be so, everything would be so much better um, if we were more loving to one another and people would support, and especially women, if we could band together. We're unstoppable. <laughs> Yes, and I am a firm believer that a rising tide lifts all ships, and if I'm succeeding, I want to bring others with me and celebrate our mutual success. Absolutely. That's the way that it should be. That's absolutely the way that it should be. All right, Kate, what do you think is the biggest misconception about blogging? 
I just think that the notion that everyone who is a blogger has this perfect life with mm. beautiful designer outfits <laughs> and the um, like, you know, nuclear family, I just hate that social media perpetuates that. And I do feel bad that, you know, social media is such a part of my job and I have to have this curated feed. So I feel like that's a huge misconception. And to try to combat that, I try to keep it real as possible on like my Instagram stories have some personal details shared to show everyone that, like, hey, I'm just like you. I go through things. Life is not as perfect as the Instagram feed may suggest. Mm. Mm-hmm. And last but certainly not least, what advice would you have for any aspiring bloggers, anyone that says, hey, I'm watching what Kate does. I think I could do that or something like that. Sure. Well, people will talk about how oversaturated the industry is all day. PR companies, fashion magazines, you name it, people are all saying that, but I personally believe that there is a space for everyone in the industry Mm -hmm. because you are your secret weapon. You have a unique voice, a unique style. You are given a unique set of gifts, and you're going to use those to carve out your own niche in the industry. And I feel like as long as you stay true to you, and you're not even a you're going to connect with people that are like-minded and you're going to build your tribe slowly but surely. And that's what's so special and something that I love so much about blogging. And at the same time, you really need to recognize that there is so much more work that goes on beyond dressing Mm -hmm. up and taking photos. You're your own manager, your own accountant, your own creative director. Mm -hmm. You are a one woman show, but Even though it gets crazy, don't give up because when it starts to feel like it's too much, that's when you are making something happen and when change is happening. Absolutely. Wise words from a wise young woman. Thank you so much, Kate. Much more success to you, 2018 and beyond. Loving those vibes, that positive energy. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely. Thank you so much. Not a problem, Kate. Let everyone know the best way to get in contact with you and to follow you on social. Sure. Well, I respond most to Insta DMs. I'm at C A I T Patton, and my blog is sophistication.com with an extra I. <laughs> loving it, loving it. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys for downloading the show. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. Social media is nice. It's cool. It's fun. But real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.